Hi, it's Kelly here, and this is uh, one of my weird inventions here, and I'll explain it to you in a moment. Uh, you're going to love it because uh, I'm going to make an outrageous claim. But first, uh, you know, a lot of people, the whole world, 7.7 .7 billion people just about, are freaked out by by this flu, or not a flu, they don't call it a flu, it's a virus. I call it a flu, it's easier to say. Um, and it seems that I'm not making my point, if you will, because what I'm saying is so far outside of what we've been taught that it's really hard to grasp. But what I'm saying to you is that I can hug people who have the flu, and I can touch my face, touch my nose, touch my eyes and my ears, and rub my hat with, uh, you know, i got 10 bazillion bacteria on it. Let's get some more. Let's make sure I get it all. Put it all in here on my nose and in my eyes and ears, and I don't get the flu. It's because I understand how the flu works. And I want you to understand it too. And I know that what I'm saying is outside of what we've been taught. Um, most of the advice we get in school and from our elders is great advice. Every once in a while, we've been taught something, even though it's been taught from generation to generation, it turns out to be untrue. You know, for 1,500 years, it was taught that the Earth was the center of the universe. 1,500 years. We've only been washing our hands and told not to touch our face for, what, about a century, right? So I hope we don't have to go another 1,400 years, because it doesn't do a doggone thing. The reason being, and this is the truth, you can look on Google Images and you'll see the images of our membrane potential and the electric negative field that's in there. It's negative. This is vital. Viruses have a negative needle. When they come up to the cell wall, they have to get inside in order to infect you. If they don't get inside, there is no flu. None. It's on or off. It's like you can't be halfway pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. You're either infected by the flu virus or you're not. That's the way it works. And this, the negative needle is repelled by the negative field that's inside the cell membrane. So you cannot get the flu even though you're breathing in 1,200 viruses with negative needles every hour of your life. This is great news because all we have to do is raise up our membrane potentials, negative fields. They are being beaten down by such things as 5G, Wi-Fi, smart meters, etc. Particularly 5G. And you don't have to live in the city where it is even though the stuff bounces off the walls and things, when it goes in the air, it can go forever. All right? So regardless of where you are, it can affect you. This invention of mine, and I'm not trying to sell it. I, want, I just want everybody to see it and feel it because then we will, because this invention of mine is made with copper and gold just a tiny bit of gold. And copper is a known antimicrobial. Copper is also a semiconductor that puts out superconductor frequencies. And then what that means is the frequencies go forever without diminishment. So as you're watching this, you're getting the frequencies of copper and of gold. Gold helps your brain and your nervous system. I, I know for sure because I, be, I didn't used to be this smart, but now people, I mean, honest to God, people who know me say that I like Tesla, the Nikola Tesla, the original Tesla, or Einstein. All right, and I, I don't have the training of Tesla, any of that, but I do come up with inventions and, and, and enhancements, sometimes two and three a day, 
one day I came out with five or six. So stuff comes to me easily now because these frequencies are I'm, I'm exposed to them all the time. And, and it also helps you with your immune system. If we can raise people's immune system, raise yours, and we don't get the flu, this reduces the panic. And the panic is, as you can see, destroying the entire world. Commerce is shutting down everywhere. You know, maybe there's some back tribe in, in Brazil or something. You know, and they're they're they don't know about it. You know, but otherwise, anywhere that you know, like. The United States or Europe or most of the world, the economies are going down. You, I don't have to tell you this. If you have a job, it's it's at risk. It's just that you know, and and of course the flu is getting worse and worse because in fact there is more flu because our membrane potentials are being lowered more and more by the installation of more and more 5G. This is what happened in Wuhan. Wuhan is the premier city for 5G. Milan is the premier city in Europe for 5G. Tehran and, and Qom have lots of 5G in their, within their city. Uh, South Korea is, is one of the leaders in, in low band 5G. Uh, these are, and the ships are metal containers with 4G bouncing around off of the walls constantly of the, the, uh, the Wi-Fi coming from satellites. So it all adds up and we can, we can build our immune system but, and I, I want to build yours up because and your family, everybody watch this video, but then I also want you to share it because that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to bring it to an end. I am not worried about making money right now, although I, I, I live on Social Security. I, the, the number one thing right now is that what good is making a few sales? That's not, that's not important. We, gotta, we have the whole world to consider. And so I want you to enjoy this. I don't know how you can enjoy it with me yakking here I am. Uh, but I also want to also impress upon you the, the need, the critical need we have for sharing this information. One person invented the light bulb. Tesla was one person invented an alternating current. One person discovered penicillin. It's one person. I'm the one person who's doing this. So yes, it, yes it can be, how can you say, how can one person know this and, that, and no one else does? One person knew about alternating current. And we use alternating current all the time. One person. So if that's if that's what's blocking you, thinking that only one, that how can it be that one person can do this? One person did it. That's how you know. I did it. End of story. So share this. By the way, leave a comment to let me know what you're feeling, and I'll be glad to you know respond and reply to you. That would be that would be great. You know, I really would love that. So that helps people too to to. Uh, you know, when they're not sure, you know, it's like, is this true? Am I, am I imagining it? And I go, oh, well, you are too. Maybe it's not my imagination. So let's just do a minute here and uh, enjoy this. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and God bless. I look forward to talking to you through your comments.